I'm holding the head of the serpent. Do you know? Huh? I'm holding a head of a very big serpent here. Yeah. It's here. I'm holding it. Watch. Watch. My name actually you know, is Brother Caesar. It is not actually you know, by human you know, direction that I came here, but I came you know, because, because you know, the Lord he convicted me you know, because actually uh, I got to know the born servant of, of God you know, through a friend of mine. Yes, so a friend of mine introduced him to me and he, when, you know, when he introduced him to me, I, I really loved him so much. I'm not like a follower of everyone, you know, but this, type, this one, you know, God, he, the Lord, he convicted me in my heart to follow him. First of all, because of his teaching, you know, his teaching, you know, they are, they are so sacred. When you hear him speak, you know, his teaching, his teaching with sensitivity of the Holy Spirit, you know, and he's teaching exactly what he has experienced. So he's speaking, you know, the mind of God from the depth, you know, of the wisdom and knowledge that God himself has revealed to him. I got to understand that he, this man of God, you know, actually from him, you know, God could use him, you know, to set me free, you know, because I come from a background whereby, you know, my only father, you know, he actually worships, worships uh, idols. So because of that, you know, I myself, you know, I was raised up, you know, in the same path. So I was aligned in that kind of way, you know. So so now when I grew up, I knew more about those idols, you know, much more than I knew even, I can say more about people in regards to sharing, you know, like sharing what, like conversations, you know, because they would be talking to me more than I would hear from human beings. I would see very scared, uh, like scared, evil demons. And some of them I actually know, like their names. I would see those ones, you know, the ones in the high ranking. There is one demon, they call it Queen of the Coast. You know, I would see those kinds. I would see big snakes, you know, like I would see animals manifesting themselves in spirits. I was initiated in dreams, so they would be like entering me. I would see them in water, like in waters. I would sometimes find myself in waters. And then I would see a lot of snakes. I would be surrounded by, by snakes. And then they wouldn't waste time, you know, because the devil is just so evil, you know, to possess me. They would just enter me. And then in the natural realm, when I appear, they would use me, you know, to do evil. So I've struggled, you know, with this kind of spirits, you know, over the years. But thankfully, you know, God, he never abandoned me. You know, God, he was all, the Lord Jesus, he was always there, you know, talking to me. And I could also know the voice of Jesus Christ, you know, from the voice of, of Satan, you know, which is, this is what also comforted me. This is what also strengthened me, you know, to keep on praying and fasting, to keep on also believing that there is a way out for me. You know, now, when it came to seeking my deliverance, I've not only... You know, like, I've not only prayed and fasted, you know, but I can say that I've done everything possible, you know, still the, the spirits, you know, they were attacking me, you know, because they had a hold, like a stronghold over me. I realized that the most area they attacked me the most, it was my own mind, you know, and my sexuality. They were, they were sending me to do evil. So, so now when I came to, when I came to Papa, you know, on this very day, in fact, you know, and he prayed for me, you know, all of these things that, I, that were afflicting me. You know, at first, you know, when, when he was, like when he, he looked on my plan card, you know, and he saw my own problem, when he looked at it, I felt like he, he was, I, I thought that at first, you know, he was looking somewhere else, not at my own plan card, you know, but he looked at it and I felt like he's looking right in me. So now what I did is that I just, you know, like, remained you know the same position on the same posture holding it up you know for him to read until he called me out in the name of jesus you covenant spirit i charge you to depart him i stand 
and your authority in the name of Jesus and the blood of the Lamb to nullify your claims over him. He will not be the, the priest of the idol. He will be the priest of the Most High God. Yeah. I'm holding the head of the serpent. Do you know? Huh? I'm holding a head of very big serpent here. It's here. I'm holding it. Three people are, are seeing it. I'm holding the head of, of the serpent right on my hand here. It can't escape my hand. Watch, 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 watch. It's free. When, when the man of God, you know, he put his hand upon my neck, he held me, I believe it was with both of his hands. And it's like he just pulled something out, you know, like from my neck. He just used his hands and he pulled this snake, which he said that it had a very big head. So, and I know it is true, you know, because I've seen it in my dreams. It was a very huge snake, which I fought against for many years you know but by the grace of god you know the lord he led me here and the man of god he set me free he pulled it out and after he pulled it out of me you know i could feel it you know that something has just you know there is a supernatural encounter you know it's not something that you can see with your physical eyes you know but i literally felt it you know that god he had done something you know i felt that freedom you know, after the man of God, he pulled it out. And I was actually also convinced, you know, that this actually ought to be, you know, my final bus stop, you know. This man of God, you know, God has used him to be the final one, you know, to deliver me from that persistent spirit, the spirit of snake. You know, I was like, from the very beginning, you know, when you grow up and your parents, they are worshiping things which you don't understand, you know, you'll be so exposed you would do whatever they would be telling you, you know, you would be innocent. So I was innocent, I didn't know, like, whatever they taught me as a child, even when I grew up, that's when I now I started seeing the repercussions, you know, of what I was initiated into, you know, because it was really very deep, you know, but uh, thankfully, you know, God he intervened, you know, when, when, I, when I surrendered my life onto him. So I thank him so much. And I thank the man of God, you know, for making himself available to be used by God. And I thank God, you know, for using you, man of God, for your purity and the woman of God, for your holiness. Thank you so much, man of God. And may God bless you and your wife. Thank you so much.